welcome Star Wars Force Arena players to this brand new video. So I'm re-recording this now because I live streamed yesterday um, and this video is talking about making the most out of 3.2, get making the best of a bad situation essentially. Um, a lot of you guys are posting down the forum and commenting as well saying that you're sick of minus 7, minus 7, minus 7, minus 7, you're sick of it. Um, and I can understand why and the reason for that is simple, it's a new system in 3.2, the victory rewards. You know, you're chasing nine wins. You want to get nine wins. And those of you who said it's a great system, it's fantastic, you, you really, you know, you must have good, strong card decks, and that's really why you don't mind it so much. For those of you who are free to play and are struggling, um, it just throws you at the paywall, blindly throws you, because you're chasing nine wins, and that's all you want to get. And it gives you so many points, and then you will get to the paywall, you hit the brick, and you think, oh my God, I can't, you know, it's just frustrating now. So what do I do? How do I cope with this? Um, and it's easy. You just lose matches. And how do I lose matches and what do I mean by that? So, start off with a rank system first. So the rank will drive everything I do for the rewards. Because you want your season rewards to be as high as you possibly can get them. And right now I'm 31%. There's not many players in the game as it, as it stands right now. So it's quite a balancing act. And at 31% you need to look at my rewards. So currently, I'm on 40,000 credits, 400 season tokens, and just two legendary cards. But if I get into the top 30%, I will get 18,000 credits, so 4,000 more. I'll get 120 more season tokens, but leaders stay the same. And it really isn't until you get to the top 20%, which is like a huge jump, where you get more credits. But you don't get anything else. You only get 40 more season tokens. And then top 10% and you've got to think to yourself is the stress really worth it is it really worth stressing over wins just to get a couple of more tokens it isn't really worth it so if you're not if you haven't got the cards or the leader levels strong enough to compete why are you bothering why are you chasing something that isn't that holds no value realistically you're not going to get to the top spot Realistically, you're not going to break the top 10 just yet because your decks aren't strong enough and your opponents are just way too more powerful than you. So you've got to set yourself a boundary. And my boundary is top 30%. That is where I'll sit with this account. Um, and right now I've dipped below that because I've lost a load of games, so I need to catch up when I play some more matches to, to, like you see, see shortly. And then come the weekend, I'll put my focus in at the weekend to maintain that top X percent. So top 30%, I'll sit there. And I'll, that'll be me for the week. And I'll repeat it over again. Um, that is what I do. And let me show you what I else. So before I show you my, my um, games, i show you my deck. So on this account here, um, now this is before yesterday. Thanks, Alec, by the way. Shout out to Alec there for giving me the tip. I managed to get my old account back by linking it to a brand new Facebook page that I made. A new Facebook page. And it linked it and it worked. I'm like, oh my God, OMG, it worked. Brilliant. So... But this was my other main account until I got that one back. So you see here my leader level cards are ridiculously low. Ones and twos. And I'm in Kyber. So, you know, you just can't compete. And everything needs to be upgraded. And it's just really, really sad for both sides. You know, three is the best card I've got. So what I do, I find a leader that I like playing. Like, I'm not really a fan of, fan of Han. A fan of Han Solo. Um, but so he has surprised me, actually. His deck's pretty strong. Um, and I pinched this particular deck from Craig Hunt. Um, and it's a good deck, good strong deck for Han. But again, my card levels are really, really low. So what I look for in the game when I'm playing. So look at my deck I've got. What have I got in there? What can I counter against my opponents? Who do I think I could beat with my particular deck? There's going to be some leaders that are going to be too strong so you just knock us on the head. So I lose a lot of games. I just lose games. I just leave the match. Like Count Dooku, level 15 tier. So what happens is I look, I look for three things um, in the game. So what do I look for? So when the game loads up, I look at the tier level. Is it a stupid number, like 15? If it is, I'm leaving straight away. No ifs, no buts, I leave. Because if you win that game, and let's face it, that game was probably be winnable. I could have won that match. But if I win that game... It's going to give me 45 points, maybe more than that. Um, and then that just makes it worse. The paywall will just get even thicker. So I'm thinking, do I really need that stress? No, I don't. 
So I'll just leave. And then what I'll do is in between that, I'll just look at games where I think I can get a win from a nine. That is it. And you see here, I lost loads, leaving loads of games like Boba Fett, level five, I'm out, see you later. Um, Krennic, level six, I'm out, see you later. And this comes on to the second part. So I look at the tier, which is first. Is the tier the same as mine or nearer to mine? If it is, I'll then look at the next stage. The game will load up and then I look at the leader level. If it's six, I'm out. If it's five, you know, I'm out. Four, maybe. But let's look at this example here of leader Snoke. So if, for example, like here, the, the tier is okay, the leader level matches mine, I then look at the perks. Do they have stupid perks attached to the leader? If it's zero or same as mine, then I'll consider taking the game on. Now, it's not until the game starts you realise what their turret levels are and then what their card levels are. If they're, if they're crazy stupid, um, you might want to leave the game or you might want to run a risk like I did here and then win the match. But I've got 45 points for the, for the privilege of doing it. And the annoying thing about that is, because I lost a load of games, I lose minus 7, minus 10, minus 7s. It takes a good 10 to 15 games just to lose a significant amount of points. And then one win like this will just throw you straight up again. So it is a good balancing act. Um, so really, losing games isn't much of an issue because you win, and when you win big, you're already back into you know, the high levels, into the rating system. So it isn't much of a problem. And that is what I look for. I just look for leaders I can beat. Now, importantly, there are other games you can win too. And these are games against bots. Yes, there are bots in Kyber now. The bots in the low level have always been bots in the low level games. But the bots in Kyber. And how do I know they're bots? Luke, no guild. Look at the card levels there. Ray, look at the no guild. Look at the card levels there too. And what do I mean by look at the card levels? The card levels match mine. That's what bots do. Bots will match your level. So if you if you haven't got a perk, they won't have a perk. If your leader level two is two, they've got two. Unique level two, they'll match it as well. All the levels will match. The turret levels will match. Now, on this account, my turret levels are 12. That's it, 12. I know, pathetic. Um, so the, the, the bot level turret will match yours as well. Everything will match. Now, the epic card you see there is 5. Why is it 5? Well, my tie bomb is 6, and my stun grenade is 4. So you've done 5. Compromise. You see? And that's how it, that is exactly what it does. That's exactly what it does. And same for Ray here. Look at the card levels too. See, so everything is compromised in between. And they're the games you win. They're the games where you pick up your win towards your nine. 35 points, you know, manageable. And that's what I look for. And then what happens is once I've reached my nine wins for the day, I will then spend the next, whatever time I've got free, basically, logging into the game, logging out of each match. Logging in, logging out. And because it's a four minute window, depends how much time is available to you, of course, if you're not doing much, you're not too busy. I mean, it is boring, it is tedious, but it's all we've got right now, unless you're prepared to go through the slog of trying to get frustrated and beating the whales, it's just not gonna happen. Um, and that is what I do. It's, it's, it's that simple, that clear cut. Um, and at the same time of doing that, you also contribute to the guild mission, you get turrets, you get kills, you get all that stuff as well, um, which is kind of cool. And that is it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and I'll do my best to advise and help you guys who are free to play. And I'll now add on that Darth Maul game to give you an idea of what I'm looking for um, when playing against an opponent and um, getting the win that you need. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.